Welcome to Paddock Simulations, where I'm gonna talk about the latest and greatest weekly sim racing news and updates. Now, this week's video, I'm posting it on a Sunday because yesterday I had a lot of jobs to do and I couldn't find time to make this small video. Next week, as well, on the 7th, 8th, and 9th, I'll be quite busy, so don't expect a video for next, for next week. So, I'll try my best to at least get the written news out by Saturday so hope you guys stick around alright back to the news this week we see not that many news we have new updates to games such as Wreckfest and Assetto Corsa and new drivers released for Fanatec products they are racing with their Porsche Club Sport V3s and stuff like that so let's get on so Assetto Corsa have been updated to version 1.2 it's a massive change there's a huge change log I'm not going to talk about the change log because you know it's too much the new update also adds the new contents such as the circuit of Zenvord and brand new cars the forecast I think we discussed it last week so one thing that caught me is the changes to the, mul changes to the multiplayer so they have included stuff like various bug fixes, better collision samples, um, tires that probably jump together with the car and uh, also the offer or they offer the possibility to limit the tire choice, weather settings and on the server side lock of new players joining races, complete last lap in quali and practice, add ballast for players and much more. Quite interesting. Also a new mod for Assetto Corsa has been released by Kakuso. It is the Bentley Continental GT3. It's a 4 litre twin turbo V8 monster GT3 car. So it's the first public release of the car and hopefully future will include better physics and better sounds. Alright moving on to Forza 6. Forza Motorsport 6 has an update car list which includes two BTCC cars, the British Touring Car Championship cars. These are the following cars you can expand the Forza Motorsport 6, like the 2013 Hyundai Velostar Turbo, oh, interesting, you can see the Shelby Cobra, the 1965, and a lot more. It's listed on my website, you can give it a look. Sebastian Loeb Rally Evo. Milestone have announced the delay for the game's release. It was originally planned for an October 2015 release, but now it's pushed till next year. So Milestone said, uh, I'm gonna quote, Sebastian Loeb Rally Evo is the biggest project ever made by Milestone since now. We've decided to postpone it to focus more on the title development. This release date will change. This release date change will offer to the players a rally simulation that represents a high quality on the video game experience. In other minor news, uh, Nibiru has previewed his upcoming Australian Oran Park track. It was a track that hosted various international events and now it's destroyed and given way to apartment building. That's sad now nah? when tracks are destroyed for apartment buildings kinda kinda angers me. Codemasters confirmed that it would be very hard to include mod support for its rally game Dirt Rally basically. Yep, Dirt Rally. Existing mods such as the skins for existing cars, force feedback mods, field of view mods and minor tweak mods are the, probably the only kinds of mod that Codemasters will allow because Codemasters don't have license for any other cars and tracks other than the one they have included in the game. So sadly I don't think you're gonna see new cars and tracks from modders in the rally anytime soon. Finally Fanatec have released a new beta driver and firmware for its range of driving and steering wheels so it, this brings compatibility support for Windows 10 and um, you can read the change log in my website so thank you for taking your time to watch this video came out a bit, little bit late as I said before quite busy yesterday so hopefully you guys enjoyed go visit my website at uh, paddocksimulations.wordpress.com links in the description so hopefully you like comment subscribe do all the good stuff see you next week hopefully